True Moo came out with Blue Milk. So their version of Blue Milk. <laughs> guys we are home just picked up the kids are there no spicy ones um this is a different type of popcorn chicken uncle johnny kind of recommended to me so just trying it out see if it's good what do you think good uh, not quite as good as quickly it's okay what do you think a bit soggy Mm. Well, it's, it's also okay. been in my car for a little bit. It hits the spot, mm. but not for the craving of quails. It is good. Uh-huh. Hello, guys. I am home. I noticed the boys did clean up a little bit. They tidied up the kitchen area. Living room, I mean, could be a little better, but... Uriah considers it clean. Um, definitely still have a lot of clutter. So my camping stuff, I still need to go through that. I know, it's my fault. And then we just have some like snack stuff for the kids um, game this week. Can't avoid that. I've got to make the bags and then we got to pass it out this weekend. I came home with blue milk. So... For you Star Wars fans, which PJ is, we are a Star Wars family, PJ loves the blue milk at Disney and for May 4th, which is Star Wars Day, because May the 4th be with you, True Moo came out with blue milk. So their version of blue milk, which is vanilla low-fat milk with other natural it does flavors. Say inspired by Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Oh, okay. But that one, I, I thought, um, I remember people saying that one was more tropical tasting. I don't know. <laughs> I went to Stater Brothers before work today to pick this up because it's on sale at Stater Brothers. And um, I picked up two because I had two hands and I made my extra way over there. So I was like, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get two. So, we're gonna have the kids try this out. See what they think. Dun, 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 dun. What's the um the Star Wars theme? So there's your blue milk. I found it at Stater Brothers, two ninety nine, half a gallon. It does. Dad said it does say inspired by Star Wars Galaxy's Edge blue, blue milk. Blue At first, milk. I thought after I bought it, I was like, "Is this is this just gonna taste like regular milk?" It says blue am I colored vanilla milk. Am I bamboozled? Did they bamboozle me? Could. The bagger said that it was good. He asked me if I tried it, and I said no because I bought two. So he must have been he must have been like, "Oh, she likes. She really likes it." Be like, I don't know. It's for my son. Yeah, it's for my kids. I don't think so. We'll see if it's good. It's very blue. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. What what type of milk is it? Bantha milk? Yeah. How would I even know that? <laughs> Are you sniffing it? Take a, take a little wick. Take a swig. It's pretty good. It's does good? It, does it taste like... Ice cream! Tastes like ice cream? Does it taste like the one at Disneyland? Yeah, Disney. No. Not really. Let me taste it. Tastes like ice cream. Mm-hmm. Vanilla ice cream. So it's good. Oh, it's vanilla milk. Does not taste anything like the, the Disney one. one. <laughs> so should we go get some Tommy's right now? I just started craving that yesterday. Oh, perfect timing. All right, why don't you guys finish your blue milk and then let's go to Tommy's. PJ's enjoying his blue milk. <laughs> I told PJ, I was like, well, we don't I know what it Tommy's. tastes like. And he's like, I don't care. <laughs> it's blue milk. You know, Burger King also has a blue milk right now. Oh, really? Yeah. And it looks like the little um, icy stuff. Oh, like, right. ooh. 
Yeah, you should try that one. I can hear you. <laughs> Yay! So, we have a special on chili cheese fries right now. So we gotta come. Sometimes when they have special on like chili cheese dogs or burgers, we don't we don't make an effort to come. But if it's the fries, it's like the boy's favorite. Chili cheese fries. Ooh, I want to get some peppers. Gas power. Got my peppers. Yeah, it does look. It looks like waterier, huh? Yeah, I noticed that too. How does it taste? I'm sure it tastes fine. Got some ketchup. The chili looks like turd. Okay, but how does it taste? It doesn't matter what it looks like. We like to just eat good food. Very good. A little watery. Can't be 250 though. Really difficult to beat that price. We got a couple to go too. Alright. Oui. Oui. Yeah, yeah, you guys. We're back at Sky Zone. Because we notice Uriah hasn't been able to find his hat, his Dodger hat that we just bought not that long ago. And uh, we think he probably lost it here. So we're gonna check the lost and found. A lot of water bottles. Well, they did. So there was like this one foam pit area with the big balls that Uriah did spend a lot of time at, and I think it might be in there. I asked the worker, Uriah, don't stress out about it. it's just money. "How often the do they clean there. it out?" Don't worry. Don't stress out they said it's supposed to be once a month, but they haven't really been doing that. So Otherwise, maybe, maybe in a month's time, we'll come back, check the lost and found again, and see if it c comes up. If not, oh well, you know, what can we do? PJ and I are popping into the library because we had put a book on reserve and it is available. Uriah is in the car with power. He's pretty bummed out he couldn't find his hat. We try to cheer him up by saying, It'll be okay. His birthday's coming up, so and I guess we're gonna get him another one. Do they have any interesting seeds? No seeds. What is that called? Well, the Trials of Apollo. Have you read it before? Oh, so this is just another one in the series. 